Hello viewer and welcome back to Games with Dialogue plays Pillars of Eternity 2, Beast of Winter. We are on episode 60 now, and we're still continuing in Remergon's realm. Alright, uh, we're in the second subzone, the Sunken Kingdom. Um, or Drowned Kingdom, I guess, if you want to go with that. So, let's see. Um, last episode, we met some ghosts, spirits. We met some spirits who got corrupted by the Soul Takers. Then we met two Soul Takers up here, so I'm just gonna explore up here a little bit. And that's where we're at. Okay, sure. shot up. Good. Let's go. Is that really the top of the... I can't go any... Alright, well... That's a great idea. Oh, that would... Hmm... I don't know if I want to push that just yet. I don't know. All right, let's go back and see if there's any kind of special thing down there. Before I start messing with the water levels. Uh, what's over here? What's this? Crusted and barnacles and coral. Okay. Well, I do need to get past there, so I need to lower the water level. But there is more over here. That's where I came in. Hmm. So if I want to... Okay, so if I want to come around this way, I can do that. There's that down there. There's... Let's see. This is where I came in from, so there's two doors I don't... Alright, so let's find out where those lead before I start messing with anything. Oh, I missed that. Good thinking. Oh, right, right. That one just leads down. Okay, all right. So let's touch this then. Sure. Okay. Well, now I... Come on. Go in there. That's gonna have some kind of significance, right? But I honestly could have just left it the way it was and gotten... Eh, whatever. Whatever. Let's touch it. Lone shard of soul essence bobs just above the surface of the water. As you reach out to it, a chorus of whispers rise in your mind. Though you can't make out what they say, a pall of fear and suspicion settles over you like a dark storm cloud. The Outlanders come in strange boats bearing gifts and honeyed words. You watch from your gilded halls, wind whipping your hair from its warrior's queue as they climb the many hundred steps to the doors of your palace. Nerves turn your stomach. Your seventh child, your only son, is ten days old. You want to give him the world, and you fear these outlanders have come to take it from you, as you have done from others. You return to yourself with a jolt and the vision fades. The jagged shard of essence wedges itself against your soul. Alright, so we're just trying to find all of the king's pieces then, huh? We can't do anything here, so we'll go back up top and lower the water for this area. Try to get down there. Uh, where did it go? Wait a minute. There it is. Okay. Right. Right. Righto. Back down we go. And there's another piece. Good, good, thank you. A wisp of soul essence blocks your path. It extends tentative tendrils towards you, sensing a bit of itself within your own soul. 
It yearns to be joined with that sliver again, and you cannot help but let it. You unfurl a map of your empire down the length of your grand feasting table. The Outlander gasps as you show him its boundaries, which stretch to the edges of the world. He exclaims as you enumerate the many kith subject to your sovereignty. Your son babbles on your knee, and the Outlander smiles. He insists that the gods must favor you to have given you so large a domain and so bright an heir. You agree. The gods have blessed you, indeed. The wisp of essence clings to the other within your soul, radiating unease. Uh, let's see. How do I get down there, though? That's the question. I go back up this way. I don't think... Hmm. Yeah, I'm... I'll touch it once I know what it does first. Okay, so let's come down this way, because there's... Oh, um... Dang it! Alright, whatever. We'll... Oh, crap. Alright, 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 alright. It's not going to be as easy as I had hoped. Um, Pike, what are you doing? You got your bow. Let's switch to the sword so you can help with these ones. Gilmore, I want you to come back a little... Well, he's engaged already. I can see the red arrows. Scanlan, you will also have to switch what? out. Deal with them. You have seven, though, so maybe... Hmm. Let's do the Wisps. We'll put them over there. That's fine. He's casting a spell. Grog, where are you? Right there. Uh, come deal with these. We want them off of our casters. And that just leaves... That just leaves me engaged with the Minotaur. Sure. We will blind in that case. How can I help you? Real weapon. Alright, come on, guys. Everybody but Gilmore. Everybody but Gilmore. Attack this thing. Uh, Gilmore, you are going to have to do something else for me. Let's do... I don't want to do... I don't see the point in a delayed fireball. Chain lightning, on the other hand. Let's see. One, two, three. That might work. Let's do that. Everyone's a critic. Where are those wisps, Scanlan? Is he already down? How many shells? He's got 48 hit points. Good lord. And he definitely needs to heal. Hmm. Well, we'll just do that. Fine. Um. You know what? He definitely needs a heal. Wait. Yeah. Much luck. <laughs> now yeah, I'm let's leave him on. No, this is my favorite. All right, all right, Scalen, don't don't charge in, please. I don't want you dying. Uh, Pike, let's do defenses because we didn't do that yet. And Grog will have you. You know what, Grog? We'll have you deal with this spellcaster over here, if you don't mind. Thank you. Sure you're never forgotten. Oh, about you. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to we're just trying to kill that berserker. Gilmore, if you'll help with that one, please. Ike, why are you doing that? Come on, come over here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to need to have her debuff my enemies. There we go. Grog, good, good. Good lord, he needs to heal. Um. Yeah. Pike, please keep my little Scanlan alive. I need that chanting ability. Something you need? 
Yeah, I need you to do something useful. How about, can I get the wall angled? Yeah, there we go. I can get both of them. And Pike's just standing there doing nothing. Of course she is. And I will use Chain Heal on myself. How are you doing over there, Grog? I kind of need you... Um, pretty good. One more. Should do it. There we go. I'll cast Robust on myself. Grog, just come over here and deal with this Water Shaper, please. I'm gonna need a bigger weapon. Yeah, you're doing fine. Everybody else fighting the Scourge. You know what, Gilmore? Why don't you hit him with that veil piercing raw damage? Pike. And uh, I can have you buff the team. That's probably a better option. Minor intercession. Restoring health and reducing duration. Yeah, you know what? Everybody can use some health. There we go. Time for some good old fashioned. Rog is in a bad spot though. Yeah, heal your just drink a potion, Rog. He's only bloody. Alright, 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 alright. Uh we need some more electrical damage. Gilmore. Um, uh, you are all out of... Yeah, ice isn't gonna really work. Uh, piggy boy's not gonna work. Do another one of these, sure. And... Why don't we do that through Grog? There we go. If you could just hit me over the head with a potion... You know what, Grog? I'm going to switch you back to your two-hander. You seem to, to, to be doing better with that. If oh, wow. you could just that hit hurt. me over the head with a potion, that'd be great. Great. Fantastic. Those are like mini-bosses. They're so difficult. This script, it is written Seki, but how? Who's saying that? Am I saying that? What does it say? It is an old style. One moment. He crouches down to get a better look. Who? Gilmore. We'll say Gilmore, just for the sake of... Hmm. I am Wingaru Uwaturi I, Dragon of Deadfire, the great King of Ukaizo, the King of Kings. Okay. By God's, uh, Andra's will, these lands conform to my decrees. Did my people come to this place, this Ukaizo? But the storms, it would be many, many years in the past. Reek runs his hand over the glyphs, a look of wonder on his face. Who? What? Okay. All right, there was something skipped over right here. Whatever. After a long, silent moment, he stands in motions for the party to move on. I have no idea who Reek is. Um, do... Do I know who Reek is? The name sounds familiar. Mr. Professor Grog. I just don't know who. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep... We're just gonna keep going in this direction. Reek. I don't know. Sunken Crown, that's where I wanna go. Hmm. So we pulled that up. We wanna pull that up. But we need to get... Over there. Maybe this one. Okay, that was it. On it. Well, what? Come on. I don't have a lot of options. Can I not? I pulled the water up from there. Can I not? I can't get closer. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. 
Something's gotta change then. Let's come back up here and look at this one then. And I don't think I pushed this, so we should probably do that. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get across there. Alright. Let's go back up again. Man, I really hate levels like this. Let's click this thing. Okay, that fixed that. That's fine. How do I... Hmm. How do I get over past... Is there a teleporter I can you take? I've been in here. McKechie the Temperate. Oh, that's just the statue. Right, okay. Fragment of the King. I've been in there. I haven't been in there, but I want to go over here. Hmm. It looks like I can't, though, for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I have to go back up to the top. Come on. Go in there. You must gather your party before venturing. I see that over there. I just don't know how to get over there. All right. No, wait, 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 before we... Uh, a wandering clump of soul essence waits for you in the path. When it senses the pieces of itself already within you, it rushes to join them. Your people wave and shout your name as you tour the outlander area around your city. You have come to value his counsel more even than your own advisors. For he would not see you fettered by ceremony and politeness as they would. He has requested a site in the center of the city on which he might build a contraption. His people are soul shapers, he explains, and they have found a way to commune with the gods. They need only... A place worthy of the god's power from which to do it. You are only too happy to oblige. The clump of soul stuff mingles with the bits you have already hold. You already hold. A sharp pain pierces your chest. Fear, not yours, but the soul's. And I can't, it cannot stand to be alone, but neither does it want to be whole. Alright, well, let's click this then. Well, that's fine, but how do I... Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's all coming back up. There's apparently something I can do over here. Maybe. Did that fix... Did that fix, fix my path over... No, it did not. Okay. I really hate levels like this. I mean, I know where I'm supposed to go. I can come over here now. Except that there's nothing over here that... that... Will do. Ah. Okay. Well, what if I... What if I start messing with the... Where'd it go? This one up here. What if I start messing with the flow of water then? It really shouldn't matter. This one is completely separate from the others. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just grab the soul and we'll save and see what I'll I'll save it, stop it here, wander around for a little bit, see what I can do. If I can't fix it, we'll just come back here and continue the episode. Not a soul essence lingers before you. It shies from the, your touch at first, but relents when it senses the rest of itself within you. Its loneliness proves more powerful than its fear. Acrid smoke chokes the air. Fires rage across the city. You trip on a lump of shattered statue and crash to the ground. 
sharp pain races up your arm. You are broken too. You stay there on the ground, too tired to stand, too tired to go on, as your city burns down around you. They told you they could speak with the gods. They thought it, you thought it an honor. But when the bearded man you'd grown to trust activated his machine, half your populace, populace turned to ash. Their souls were torn from their bodies like curtains from a window. They didn't even scream. But the outlanders didn't lie. They could commune with the gods. The gods descended on the city with flame and flood. They smashed your palace to ruins and drowned your ports. Scant few people escaped the destruction by boat. Those who remain died in terror. Except you. They let you live. In their divine cruelty, the gods let you live. The distinct bits of soul essence coalesce within the shelter of your soul. Whole at last, the spirit reluctantly pulls itself from you. Alright. So, let me save. Well, I wasn't able to figure out how to get over there, so let's just go in. Let's level up Scanlan first. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do Arcana, and we'll do... History, Diplomacy, or Bluff. Hmm. Do Bluff. Sure. Uh, and then we want to pick... What's this? Increase ally accuracy and damage against enemies of the beast type. Well, maybe not. Not unless... I do want some more... Team buffs, though. Strong and steadfast. I don't remember what those do. Plus five might. Plus five resolve. Not great, but... Uh, devastate enemies with a powerful blast of cold air. That it inflicts... You know what? That's not going to be very useful here. What about this one? Gaining the energized inspiration. Nah. Unleash an explosion of voice that knocks back foes and dazes them. Useful. How much does that cost me? Six phrases? Increases the penetration of allies in the area. Again, six phrases. Or I can go with this. Summon a swamp spore. Meh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'll take that one. Let's take the upgrade to these healing beams. And then we'll pick... What are we going to pick? Hmm. I think I want to pick one of these up here, but I don't know which one yet. Concentration, will defense, fortitude defense. That's what I want. Okay. All this poisoning is driving me crazy. Uh, let's see... Uh, I'm not going to give him a two-hander. Mm. Magical implement, maybe? Yeah. Well, he's got the bow already. He doesn't need a firearm. Yeah, I'll give him the rod. Sure. I have a few good rods he can use. Alright, and we should probably rest because he's already at two wounds and that's not going to help anybody. There we go. Everybody's cleared. In we go. All right. I'll go take a look. Let's stealth it up. Quietly move forward. Keeping an eye out for traps. I've got it. So good so far. And we have enemies. We have a scourge. There's no way I can take oh boy. All right. In we go, then. Maybe I can sneak past him. What do we got here? I'm pretty sure he's going to spot us. We might as well just go full bore. Uh, let's see. Pike. Are these things... 
Defense. All right, they got high defense against piercing. That bow's not going to work. Um, crushing, on the other hand, they don't have a good... Oh, I should have given Scanlan the... Mm, I bet you guys were screaming at me not to be stupid about that. Whatever. Let's have him run in. Shoot. We'll have Pike run in and cast that defensive bubble. Gilmore... They are actually weak against cold, so I could do... Hmm. Hobbles those it touches. Well, it will hurt. How can I help you? I'm gonna do it like that, sure. Did he lose the spell? Crap, he lost two... Oh, God, that sucks. That sucks. Come on, cast it. Good. Alright, so we're gonna need something else then to deal with these. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Well, I haven't really... I haven't really considered doing it right now. Concentration to allies. We'll do this. Sure. This one wants to be difficult. We do need to get Scanlan closer so that his singing benefits me. Um, let's see. What would that hit? Just... Just the Scourge, huh? Yeah, alright. Let's blind him. Uh, Pike, I'm gonna switch you back to swords and you're gonna deal with this one. How can I help? Okay, let's do something amazing. How about... How about a wall of fire, right? Right there. Now don't push him out of the way. Oh, God. Grog needs to be healed again, as usual. Someone get me a real weapon. Sorry, Scan. Jeez. Don't whine about it. I'm gonna... Mm, where can I put these? Behind them? Or over here? I don't think there's room for them to attack these two wardens over here. Let's put them over here. Yeah. Your lesson yet? Ah, uh, oh, Grog, get out of the fire, Grog! What happened? Let's Scanlan... Every time Scanlan summons something, it freezes up. Alright, you just attack that guy then. That's not what I want you to do. Cancel that. Thank you. I'm trying to get Targaris here to... Let's try Abjuration. I don't know if that'll work against the, one of these things, but it might. And if it does, then I get rid of it easy. This one to be difficult. Except that I got interrupted, of course. Quit sucking me up towards you. So aggravating. Um, Reflection bonus? Hmm. Petrifying enemies? That's not going to work. That's really not going to work. Uh, let's do this one. Sure. I'm actually going to do... Okay. Let's do shared, fl shared flames on the Scourge. Mike's dead! And I don't think I have enough... No, I do. I do. Reviving command on our healer. God. Grog. I don't have enough to do... Okay. Fine. I don't have enough to do healing. Fireball, then. Seems like a good option. Right over here. Grog, I hope you're resistant against fire. Not really. That's my fault. Sorry, Grog. There you go. Heal up. That scourge was actually easier than the other one. I'm surprised. Is that my blood or yours? There we go. My barbarian is fantastic. Flattery will get you everywhere. Hmm. Come on. 
Are these bombs? Yeah, the corrosive essence. All right, let's um stealth it up again. Swift and silent as a Everybody, stealth it up. Swift and silent. Okay, okay. What? That's it. Um, these are the healing ones? No. Those are the ones that, um... Uh, I could go back out here. I want to explore the rest of this area, though. Absolutely. Oh, crap. What did I trigger? The soul fragment dissipates in a flash of scattered essence, reforming in the shape of a large Omawa man. Bedecked in exquisite robes and golden jewelry. My great hall stands open for all who would pay fealty to their beloved king. Why are you here? Bow greetings. Lie. A coven of Aeora's greatest arch mages sent me here from the future. Huh. I wonder if that had anything to do with the arch archmage quest that I didn't actually finish. That could be. Could be. Merchant, I am an emissary from a distant land. Come to seek your favor. Or Amala, whatever. I'm not your subject and you're not my king. Uh, let's do the merchant one. Sure. I rarely get to use it. Ha! <laughs> so the ants of other empires still scurry beyond my bounds. He gives you a self satisfied smile and reclines on his throne. The king regards you with one eyebrow raised and a smug smile still forming on his lips. Diplomacy, your excellency. I have a few questions. I had hoped you would hear them. I brought you a gift. Enough pleasantries. Let's do the diplomacy thing. You have proved yourself more polite than most. I will humor you. For time. You have my permission to continue. Your kingdom predates Ukaizo? Oh, let's do that one. My kingdom is Ukaizo, the jewel of the dead fire. No, of Aora, a city so magnificent it draws the jealous eyes of all the world's great civilizations. <sighs> it will make a fine inheritance for my many daughters. And your one son. Uh, only daughters, no son? That doesn't, hmm. No sons, not any longer. I had a boy once. A Donkey Owaturi III, named for his grandfather and his grandfather's grandfather. He was a fine boy, a happy boy, the best son a father could ask for. But, but I will speak no more of him. Let his memory rest, I say. Uh, what happened to your kingdom? Look around you. Is my hall not the picture of power? Do you not drown in luxury? Uh, uh, well, I'm drowning, sure. Yes, it appears to be in excellent shape. Raise an eyebrow, say nothing. Yes, it appears to be in excellent shape. As I said, the Jewel of Aora. Okay, well, I guess I only have one other choice. Who are you? King Wingaro Owaturi I. <laughs> You've heard of me, of course. Haven't you? Uh, what is this, history? Yeah, shrug, maybe in old stories. Are you any relation to Queen Onikaza the Second? I've never heard of you or your kingdom. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do history since I haven't. He settles back on his throne, bright eyes blinking rapidly. After a long moment, he laughs. A fine joke. Do you understand what happened here? King the king crosses his arms and frowns, the picture of a petulant child. Well, diplomacy, to put it delicately, your highness, your civilization lies in ruins and your soul is trapped in Rimmergan's realm. What is this, intimidate? Yes. It's time for you to own up to your failure, failures and face judgment. See, your civilization was destroyed, your soul is Rimmergan's prisoner, and it's all your fault. Use betrayal to become the king's lost son. Oh, God, yes! I mean, I have it. Let's use it. You fish the broken blade from your pack and hold it before you. 
After a moment's concentration, your face twists itself into the visage of a square-jawed young Juana man. The king looks at you as if for the first time, his eyes wide as sand dollars. Ada, my boy, you've returned to me. But, but how does this terrible place cage you too? Echo Prince and Danke. Our kingdom has fallen. I mourn the Waturi legacy, for it has been murdered by outlanders as surely as our people have. Echo Prince and Danke. What a mess you have made of our kingdom. Does the Waturi legacy mean so little to you? Uh, or, our kingdom lies in ruins. The Waturi legacy is stained by the blood of our slain subjects. Hmm. I wonder if I say the top one, I mourn the Waturi legacy. For it has been murdered by outlanders. I wonder if he will be less pleasant to me being an outlander. Uh, let's see. What a mess you have made of our kingdom. Does the legacy mean so little to you? The legacy is stained by the blood of our slain subjects. Let's do number three. My boy, check your eyes. The Waturi clan reigns the dead fire. Ukaizo's bounds stretch the breadth of the world. We are at the height of our power. Uh, diplomacy. No, father. The foreign soul shapers have destroyed our kingdom. And your soul is trapped in Rimagon's realm. Intimidate. You allowed the foreign soul shapers run of our city and they destroyed it. Own up to your failures and face judgment. <laughs> Shake him. You witless fool. Open your eyes. Um. Yeah, let's do the top one. That is not possible, I say. My empire is the strongest in Aora. No, the greatest empire history has ever known. My reach extends to the edges of the world. Kith, on distant shores, pay fealty to me, King Wingaro Owaturi the First. Uh, insight. You know that's not true. The only thing keeping you here is your pride, you stubborn old fool. Eh, you know that's not true. Let's do insight. My judgment is beyond reproach by you, by the gods, by anyone! I will not take the blame for what happened! Do you hear me? I will not! Rimagarn could give you a final death, but he lets you remain here because you still have something to learn. Uh, it's kindness. You made treaty with the foreign soul shapers. You made... God. <sighs> you made treaty with the foreign soul shapers because you wanted the best for your empire and your kingdom. They took advantage of you. But your kingdom fell to trickery. The Juana still thrive in the dead fire. Your legacy survives you. Yeah, well, let's do that one. You speak truly... My people still make their home in dead fire. Oh, did I salvage this? Because it felt like he was going down the path of... I screwed up. Surprise makes his eyes go wide. When the expression fades, it's replaced by a look of slow dawning comprehension and, finally, wonder. His features blur, then run like water off his face. What's left behind is the visage of an aged Amawa nearing the end of his life. His shoulders sag like they've borne the weight of centuries. And his once lively eyes grow dim and distant. A shaky breath wheezes from his chest. When the bearded outlander and his cabal arrived in Ukaizo, they offered glory, strength, growth, and asked so little in return. My council warned me against allying with them. I called them cowards. All that mattered to me was the extent of our reach. Endless expansion. Security for the Wana. A legacy none could match. I say it was my weakness they exploited. I believed I could stand against the tide of time. The tide that wears down even the hardest stone to sand. And, and my arrogance doomed us all. He heaves out a great, shuddering breath and can't quite meet your eye. 
You could not have known what the Outlanders planned. You only wanted what was best for your people. I forgive you, Father. You must accept responsibility for the horror you brought down on your people. I cannot forgive you, Father. You must forgive yourself. Yeah, that one. When did my son grow wiser than his father? I say, you became a man while my back was turned. Uh, insight? You could not save your kingdom, but you can redeem yourself. Help me fight the dragon. Ner whatever. The dragon. You can do more, no more in this life. Let me guide you to the wheel that you might right these wrongs. You have suffered enough. Go into the white void. No, no I, want, I want to help with the dragon. Within the folds of your robes, the king's hand... His robes, the king's hands shake. It is settled. Thank you. He presses a broad hand into your arm and squeezes... His eyes wet with unshed tears. He makes as if to hug you, but stops halfway through the motion. Yeah, hug him. You pull the king to you and wrap him in a crushing hug. He stands ramrod stiff, but slowly softens when you don't immediately let go. He returns your hug, squeezing you just once, before he steps back, shaken. Then he nods quickly, satisfied. The king settles back on his throne to wait for your call. His expression turns pensive, thoughtful. I will find you in the Shattered Passage. Until then, leave me to my thoughts. Okay, well, uh, I wonder three things. See, does this extravagant groan have been blah, 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 blah. Okay. I wonder three things. A, did I... I can stop sneaking now. Uh, did I finish piecing together that soul... Was it the soul of the king or his son? I think it was the soul of the king. But would that have made a difference to that conversation at all? I'm so glad I pulled that together at the end there. God, it felt like I was going to fail that super hard. And I'm on the other Let's side. Done. Excellent. Okay, let's grab the item out of here. Is it? Is that the only thing? Currents rush. Is it? What is it? Scepter, one-handed. Damage, 14 to 20. Superb. Ebb, gain 1% hit to crit. Okay. Low, 20% chance to launch an uh, interrupting crush effect. Nice, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, who do I want to give it to? Do I want to give... We can give the bow back to, um... God, who's my ranger? Vex or Vax? You know, I never learned <laughs> how to distinguish between the two. I think it was Vax. Vax can get the bow. That's fine. All right, let's check the other side over here. I know I can get into the water, but maybe the... Maybe the trigger for it is over here or outside through this door. Okay, where did that put me? Ah, are you kidding me? All right, I'm going back in because there was something missing. All right, I um, went back in there and I got through the little puzzle thing and I wound up with this. Um, the only reason I gave her this two-hander is because it scales with religion. And she's the only character who's pumping religion, so... Uh, let's see, what was this? Preview ability? Oh, this must have been added with the new patch! Thank God, that was driving me crazy. Speaking of new abilities, Targar's leveled up. What am I gonna give you here? Mechanics? We'll keep pumping that, and diplomacy. Sure, you know what? I've been burned a few times on a couple of things that I wish I had points in, so let's put a point into religion. 
What does that give me? Nine versus... Okay. Um, what was the other thing? History, right? Eight points. Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. Sure. Uh, and then one ability score. Well, I picked that up already. I don't want to self-immolate. Wait a minute. Paladin focuses their stir. If the Paladin is defeated during the immolation, they revive with full health shortly after. That would be a neat trick to pull. Especially if I'm fighting an enemy and I'm getting low on health. That actually might be useful. What about this one? Each pulse of the damage also heals the Paladin's nearby allies, but how close do they have to be? Um... Hmm. Oh, it says right here. Hmm. That's a pretty close radius. I don't think so. And then Light of Pure Zeal, I don't have that yet. Uh, what do I... Maybe one of these ones up here that increase my damage, yeah? When suffering damage, gain a stacking bonus to damage dealt on your next weapon attack. Yeah, I think that's about time I take that. Okay. Let's see if the king shows up up your here. Your victory yep. is assured, for you have the dragon of Deadfire at, at your side. He doesn't sound... As surely as the sun rises, the beast will fall before us, I say. Okay. He didn't sound too confident there. Does What's-Her-Name have something to say about our new companion? You have resurfaced. Yes, I have. And with a crown, no less. Impressive. Well, thank you. She smirks at the king. Let's hope his strength matches his opinion of himself. He doomed his people, and now he's going to make up for it. Doubtlessly, the aid of a king will be invaluable in bringing the dragon low. Well, let's do the second one. I prayed so. The worm has persisted for far too long. She bows her head. All right, one more kingdom. The kingdom of fire and flame. Uh, which is where? Right here. And we'll pick that one up next time on... Uh, next episode. We'll pick it up next episode. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until then... Stay safe, and God bless you.